What I want to talk to you about this morning is something we call content bias. Content bias. Now, uh, in any business, uh, one of the key things that you want to do, whether you're, you've got a million employees or one employee, is you want to get your name out there. You want to be known. You want your products and services to be established. You want people to remember you as the go-to place, the preferred choice. So if you're looking to sell a half a million pound service into a major corporate, or you're looking to sell a 5,000 pound service to a small business, you want your name to be known. There is power in having your name known in terms of credibility, in terms of positioning, in terms of a strategic advantage over and above your competitors. So everybody wants this and they think the only way to do it is ads. However, coming back to content bias, it's a well-known uh, thing in social media that there are biases or biases uh, in the way content is delivered on LinkedIn, on YouTube, on Facebook, on Twitter. There is a bias built in. An algorithm behind it is saying who sees what. And if you are in favor with the algorithm, we're not going to how that works because it's different on every platform. But if you're in favor, more people see your content. And if you're not in favor, less people see your content. So we know that this works uh, and this is how it works. So what if you can use all of those things on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, all of those places and LinkedIn? So you might not be, you know, a million view YouTuber. You might not be the viral Twitter sensation. You might not be the LinkedIn superstar, but you are in the feed of the people who need you, the people who need your products and service. We call this content bias. Now, you can, by being very strategic in how you create content, and this is where the quality versus quantity argument comes in, you can be very strategic in producing content that is appealing to a particular target audience. And if you do it in the very, you know, very precise and right way, you can actually attract and capture your prospects into your world, into your content bias. Uh, and so they see you on a regular basis. Just one big thing. Uh, nobody buys from somebody they don't believe in. And belief is one of the most prized commodities on the planet. People believing you can solve their problem. Now, Yes, you have to be legitimate and yes, you have to have a good quality product and yes, you have to solve a problem that customers need to be solved. But one of the key ways you can get people to believe in your business, your product and your service is just by being consistently visible, consistently visible. So if you're in front of people regularly, they get familiar with you, they get to know you, you're not as, as much a stranger. Your message has time to sink in over multiple pieces of content. So, so suddenly, rather than having to try and do a one-hit wonder piece of content, each piece of content is making an impact for you. And so you find that content bias can positively influence the, your prospects, your potential customers, and give you that advantage of being familiar and more trusted because you're consistently showing up. So, of course, this is used and abused by dodgy news sites and various uh, bad actors. Of course, they play to it uh, to manipulate news stories and to shape people's opinions and fill people with false information. Absolutely. But if you use it responsibly, it can actually help you get your good stuff in front of the right people.